I really want to educate a little bit or talk about this uh, very important aspect. Now, whether you are Republican or Democrat, whether you know who you're voting for or not, I really want to make this point very clear because there is this reality of Project 2025 that um, is a real thing. Uh, it's got real plans. You can go and look it up online and it's a very, very long and very, very weird and crazy. Um, now, again, I know Trump has disavowed and said that he has nothing to do with it, but the bottom line is that the people that, that created project 2025 are very, very close to Donald Trump. They've, uh, written policy positions for him previously. They helped to pick his Supreme court justices and a lot of the ideas in project 2025 are just copy and paste from Trump's own agenda and things that he said and said that he wanted. Again, some things like the national abortion ban uh, that is in Project 2025 are things that Donald Trump has said that he doesn't want. So again, I recognize there are things that are in Project 2025 that Trump says he doesn't want. Now, that being said, this is not being talked about enough and it absolutely needs more attention um, because Project 2025 uh, says a lot of things But one of the plans that Trump absolutely wants to go forward with and uh, really will go forward with if he gets elected is this plan to basically replace tens of thousands of current government workers, not with people that are better at the job, not with people that are more qualified for the job, but with people that are ideologically aligned. And what that means is that are MAGA aligned loyalists. Okay. Okay. Um, now I think I'm on the wrong tab here. So, oh no, I'm on the right tab. So let me, uh, let me scroll up just a little bit. Um, so project 2025 does not explicitly mention Trump replacing military leadership with leader lead, loyalists. However, uh, the plan includes some concerning proposals related to military appointments and ideological screenings. Uh, the plan proposes rigorous scrutiny for candidates for promotion to general or admiral. Uh, to ensure that they have not prioritized issues like climate change or critical race theory. This suggests an intent to screen military leaders based on ideological alignment rather than purely professional qualifications. Okay. Uh, Trump allies are reportedly screening thousands of potential appointees aiming to build a force of 54,000 loyalists to serve in future administration, um, 20,000 to serve in the administration, and 50, replacing 50,000. thousand federal federal workers in policy adjacent roles uh putting in trump supporting loyalists okay um now with regards to the election again there's nothing explicit however trump's plan as part of 20 part of 2025 is to expand presidential power expand the power of the executive branch um basically placing the entire federal bureaucracy that bureaucracy Under direct presidential control, uh, while not explicitly monitoring or mentioning election officials, this expanded power could potentially impact election-related agencies, um, again, ideological screening, etc. So they are looking to expand the strength of, the, of uh, Trump's hand as the executive, replace everybody in his vicinity, everybody and anybody that could check him with explicit loyalists people that will only listen to and do anything that donald trump says for their own personal gain and because of their own um power and guys we already know that trump is not somebody that can be trusted with this kind of power he is and as uh his former joint chiefs of staff somebody that worked closely with him that knew his tendencies that knew him in those very key moments where big decisions needed to be made that Donald Trump is fascist to the core. He has those tendencies, whether you believe it or not, that is what he leans towards. He looks for absolute power. He wants absolute control in all these situations. And this is the way that he is going to go about doing it. Again, this is in, it's, it's out there, it's publicly known. And we, we, we know that this is what he wants to do now. We know that this is what he wants to do because this is what he began to do in the final stages of his presidency in 2021. It was happening very, very quietly, and it was right before he was on his way out. But he realized he had some of these levers of power, and he started, uh, after the election, he started firing key people in military and in the Pentagon and started replacing them with loyalists. And this was... getting people very, very nervous. I was nervous at the time. People in the military were nervous at the time. They didn't know what was going on. Um, 
and there were starting to be contingency plans put in place in case in case Trump did something insane, in case Trump tried to, who knows, right? Um, and so Mark Milley and some others were reportedly concerned about the possibility of a real military coup attempt. He tried with fake electors. He tried pressuring Mike Pence. They tried the riots at the Capitol. They tried all kinds of things. So again, this is like to say, why do we want to go back and do any of this and give Trump the opportunity to do any of this stuff again. Um, Mark Milley and other joint chiefs were discussing plans to resign one by one rather than carry out any illegal or dangerous orders. You can believe any and all of these individuals will be part of the ones that are replaced in the second Trump administration with loyalists that would go and carry out whatever it is that he wants, whatever it is that he asks for, just creating absolute chaos uh, throughout the ranks. And this is just uh, this is just stuff that we cannot... We cannot have. So at the end of the day here, guys, um, I am just pointing out what the reality of the situation is. Trump is a fascist to the core. He has those tendencies. He's unhinged. He has gotten a taste of this before. He's started moving things into place in those processes. He just simply ran out of time. And if you give him another four years, he is going to have enough time to fully realize this plan flood his administration and flood the government with these MAGA loyalists who will do everything and anything that he says. And it, this is, is just an absolute disaster waiting to happen. Who knows what would happen with the next elections? Who knows what would happen if, if Trump decides to actually deploy the military into the streets to break up protests or do any number of things? Who knows if Trump actually decides to go and use the DOJ to go after those who are disloyal? And who knows what disloyal means or how he's going to define disloyal? So I don't want to find out. I don't want to go there. Um, so, you know, talk about primary reasons for not voting for this guy. This is up there as reasons one, two, and three. And I highly urge you to look into this more because it's a legitimate threat. So let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and like and comment on the video. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.